Okay, so today I'm going to show you some features uh, about my jailbroken iPod Touch. As you can see, I'm scrolling through the many applications that I've installed. Um, to install these, you have to have a jailbroken iPod. And uh, this program is called iPhysics. And it's a really cool program. You can draw shapes, and they'll respond to gravity and movement as a real physical shape would. And you can shake the screen to clear the screen of your shapes. And right now I'm creating an anchor, so when I draw a shape around it, it will be stuck to that point and will rotate around it. So it looks like a, like a lever or something. And if you turn your iPod, the uh, accelerometer changes the gravity direction. And as you can see, this, this next block is responding accordingly as I turn my iPod landscape or portrait. And now we shake it to get rid of the objects. Go back to the home screen. And now we open up the program called GPS Phone, uh, which is a Game Boy Advanced emulator for the iPod Touch or iPhone. And uh, scrolling through my legal ROMs right now and uh, opening up Legends of Zelda. And as you can see, there's an overlay of the controls, which is are very transparent, but when you're playing, you can see them very clearly. And uh, this ROM actually works really well. And uh, is almost, or if not, is at full speed. And there you can see the controls more cl clearly. You have the D-pad, select and start, A and B, and the left and right buttons are actually in the top right and left corners respectively, but they're kind of obvious, so you don't need to see them if you need to hit them. And so I'm going to start up my game. And there's Link. And it looks like we'll move around a little bit. See? No lag. Controls respond very well. Yep, no more magic powder, but... And does his special move. Shing. Cool. So, that's that. And we'll go back to the home screen. You can choose to save or not save, and then I did. And so now we'll go back into iPhysics, and I'll show you some of the levels that you can play. And the goal is to get the blue ball to the red square, however you have to. So, they're going to draw a shape. It's going to push it over. There you go. Simple as that. Now this one, we have to draw a little bridge to get over. Oh, looks like that one didn't work. Let's try to get rid of that. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be better. Sweet. Now we'll draw a little pushing block. Oh, didn't register. There's another one. Sweet. And that level is done. Now these, I don't know what these are, but they look like seesaws. Maybe, uh... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, but we still, still won. And that level's too hard for me to do. So we'll just go back to the home screen and um, uh, give you some time to look at the apps if you want to pause the video and check them out Just check out like their icons and names this is a piano uh, it's really helpful you can't hear the sound but it has a full octave of notes and you can play two note chords from the multi-touch uh, features of the iPod so uh, that's basically basically it we'll go back into uh, GPS phone if we want just to show some stuff off, uh, we'll go to, da, 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 let's see, we'll go to Kirby and start a new game. And the thing is, if you save your game inside of a, one of these ROMs, then you can start a new game and it will still be saved. Uh, it's, there's, it's helpful. And so now, go into the sketches, and uh, thanks for watching. So hopefully, uh, if you have an iPod or, or iPod Touch or iPhone, you have jailbroken it already. And if you have not, I encourage you to go to jailbreakme.com and uh, have, have read all of the stuff about it and make sure that you know what you're doing. Um, but I do recommend it completely. Uh, you can unlock enormous potential of your iPod Touch. And thanks again. So take care.